Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you the gridding off process that I use. So we're going to do it step by step uh, so you understand it. I've got my phone, my sketch pad, pencil, ruler, etc, etc to do the gridding off process. Okay, so this is the next step to the gridding off process or learning the gridding off process using an app. Saves a heap of money in printing and a heap of time because then you're not having to grid off manually an image, um, which can be tedious. So, the grid, uh, it's called the Drawing Grid Maker. It's an app that you can get on your phone or on your tablet. My youngest daughter introduced me to it, which, I mean, it's been a godsend because I don't have to print anything. I just put it up on my phone. Right. So in the grid maker, there are various tabs. Um, the first tab that you need to use is your folder tab. Now this will take you to whatever image that you need to use, uh, which is on your phone or on your tablet. It goes directly to your, to your images. Now, of course, we have to be cautious, guys, uh, when it comes to copyright. Um, I have to highlight this because you can get sued. <laughs> so uh, be careful with what images you're using and don't think that you can just go out there, use an image and not have repercussions. You can. Right, so go into the folder and I've gone into the folder. Go to my images. Now I've picked an image already that I want to use, which is this one. The reason why I'm using this image is because I took it. So I press on this image. Now it's already squared this image off, um, which is a five by five squares. Um, but you can make the squares smaller, which is what we're going to do. Um, some images you will find that when you process them, it will show that the image will go into a rectangle, whether it be that way or that way down. Uh, if the rectangle is going down, that means you need to increase your square footage um, on the app. Um, so to do this, so let's say it is along the rows. What you can do is go into this corner with the lines across it, which is your rows, and increase it. So I'm going to go 8 on that. You can see it's transferred it to rectangles. That means now you need to increase along the um, columns. So you go into the columns and you put 8, oh, 8, and then I put OK, right, and um, that is like evened up the image already, but to make sure it's even more even so there's no millage out, there is an SQ, press or tick it, that has definitely squared off your image. That means whatever size you want to use, whether it be 2.5 or 10.5 um, square, you can use this image. Okay? Now, I normally put a diagonal in as well, just to make things a little bit easier. So we've got a diagonal uh, pattern going on. Now, the next step is to save the image. Go onto the floppy disk image, go into that, it has saved the image for you onto your phone. Go back, now if you want to print, you can print, so you connect it to your printer and print it off, right? But like I said, I just use my phone, save ink, save time, save money. So to make sure you've got your folder image, go in to my files on your phone, there's your image, all ready to be used, no problems, okay? 
Next step is gridding off your paperwork, which is simple. So you have your horizontal, you have your vertical. Your vertical is rows, your horizontal is columns, okay? So, to get your columns to start with, you need to measure your paperwork or your, your sketch paper, right? And when I measure it along the horizontal, it comes to... 20.7 now we know the grid that I'm using is 8 by 8 so you put 20.7 in your phone divided by 8 and it comes up with 2.5875 now to round it off you can turn around and say 2.6 but I am just going to use a square of 2.8 Five. Now I've already measured my grid out on, on my sketch pad uh, vertically and horizontally, right? So what I've done is measured it up 2.5 and marked it off. So it's 2.5 and marked it off on, on here, okay? Then I've done it exact same and 2.5 going down so 2.5 for each square then what you do is get your pencil because I've done it bottom both sides get your pencil get your grid and literally mark where your grid's going to be so I've marked my grid off. Each one of these squares is 2.5 by 2.5. You've got 8 going horizontal, 8 going vertical. Okay? Now, what you need to do is go into your phone, uh, call up the image that you've saved, which I have. Now, what I'm going to do is start sketching. So what I'll do is I'll go two squares along and then, or two squares backwards, and then what I'll do is I'll start drawing the flower. Now, it's just an orchid, so, or a wild, little wild orchid. And then you're literally doing that. Now, I used the diagonal pattern now this is how you check that your image is even. So you put a diagonal cross. Now if you look, more or less I'm going at the right angle, right? So again, I'll bring it down. Now this has got like a fold as the leaf or the petal and then you bring it round uh, and that is what you're looking at right you just literally drawing in the squares uh, so you can go to any square so you can turn around and say right I'm gonna go one two and then you put your detail in, put, and it just has to be rough, but it just gives you a way or a means to divide up so you can correct it when sketching. And this will bring your image so it's in even proportion. Um, like I say, you can choose any square and you just do it. And then when you go to painting, you can still use the same grid um, because um, I like to use the grids. It just, it just helps, speeds things up, right? So I have my canvas, which is behind me, that's on an easel. And if you look, 
there's my grid on 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 my easel or uh, on my canvas so i mean it it just helps um evening in it up that's all and it's straightforward straightforward so i mean that app's wonderful as well so i enjoy using the app so right i hope this helps um i know it's a bit gobbledygook i'm a bit speedy ed but um yeah it, it i mean if it helps you and then you're not getting irritated um, over proportions, use the grid. Um, don't struggle. So, good luck guys.